These are my length retention results from my knotless braids that I had for two months. This is the amount of hair that I lost and this is the amount of hair that I gained. Look at the thickness. Look at the length. So this is the style I had. I had loose knotless braids. So right now I'm taking them out where I knotted them. You do want to see how I tied the ends of my braids without any unraveling. You can click the video in the description link down below after this video. So right now I'm just loosening out the braids and I'm just gently doing it kind of. Now here's where the good stuff starts. So a lot of you were asking me, how do I take out my crocheted roots? And if you're not sure what I mean by crocheted roots, I've also done a video about how I kept my braids lasting longer by crocheting my roots. So I'm not going to get into all of that now, but if you do want to see, this is what happens. There's no matting, there's no locking, and the process I used is interlocking, which is usually used for locks. There you go, look at the length retention, look at that. But let's get back to the method. So I crocheted my roots, as I said, but there was no interlocking. I only done it for an extra two weeks. So therefore, as you can see, it's very easy to take out. So I just ease my hair apart and I've got the wax in there. That's the most that's keeping my hair together. But other than that, if I didn't have any wax, my hair would literally just unravel. So it's simple to take out, guys. And I know I shouldn't be combing my hair with a rat tail comb. All I'm doing is gently removing the loose strands that came out during the two months of the protective style. As you can see, I've got a good amount of growth there. Very happy about that. So again, I'm just doing my detangling at the back. So I'm just showing you different sections because this is obviously a one-step process, guys. Mind you, I didn't actually crochet the back. So that was a lot easier to detangle, I should say. So this is one side done at the moment, as you can see. I'm just showing you the thickness. And what I think I'm gonna start doing, every time I put my hair in a protective style, I'm gonna measure my hair. I haven't been doing that. I've just been eyeballing the length. I haven't actually been measuring with a tape measure. As you can see, I've got some good amount of growth. So last time I had a protective style, I still had similar length, but the ends of my hair were quite sparse and thin, and you could see through them. Now everything has thickened up. Look at those roots. Come on, look at that. Yes, you can hear me smiling because I am. So I'm just gonna leave you with some music playing to have a little whiz through of the rest of the takedown process. And I'll come back in a sec. Right, so now the takedown is done. I'm very shocked with the thickness, I'm not gonna lie. Last time I took out my protective style, I had a nice amount of length, as I said, but the thickness, well, it was thick last time, but it wasn't this thick. So let me just quickly show you the back. What I'm working with. No clippings, guys. Everything's all there. It's all my hair. There you go. Right. But my hair's been a little bit dry, obviously, after the two months of not being able to fully wash my hair and saturate it in moisture. So we're not finished yet. I need to show you the products that I use to put the hydration and moisture back into my hair. So click over to this video right now for my wash day and see how you can get your hair flourishing after a protective style.